Ang I B presents Kisses of Tragedy, a collection of love stories by Emma Yadani. Copyright year 2021. Published by Life is Beautiful Printing Corporation. Is it the sin to love? Narrated by certified voice artist Lenny Ilaw. Lucas wasn't the ideal type kind of guy. He never said sugar-coated words just to please girls. He was honest and straightforward, and that made him unique among the other guys I had met, despite the fact that he wasn't that smart and he didn't excel in all subjects. He had his own perspectives in life that were more attractive than any other guys. Guys who only knew how to show off cheesy pickup lines and made girls fall like it was just a game on playing someone's feelings. Lucas was smart in his own way. He was a guy full of words of wisdom. And I really liked him for that. But unfortunately, my friends couldn't see what I was actually seeing in him. You're dating that despicable guy? Irish, along with Rihanna, blurted out when they first found out that I was going out with Lucas. Sighing, I nodded once. Mm, oh, oh, actually, it had already been two months since we started dating secretly. My other friend, Brianna, raised an eyebrow. Brianna, seriously si Lucas, hindi ngayon nag-aaral ng mabuti dahil mukhang hindi seryoso sa pag-aaral. Tapos ngayon, umaasa kang seseryosohin ka niya? She shook her head, sighing. Huh, stop dating that guy, sis. I felt a sudden heaviness inside my chest. He is nice, Rihanna. After two months of going out with him, I got to know him more. And he isn't that bad after all. Believe me. I looked at each of them, hoping that I could change their impression of Lucas. But I failed. Maniwala ka rin sa amin, Brianna. Please, just this once. Amin ka naman makinig. Irish said sincerely. Hindi makakabuti si Lucas sa'yo. We're just concerned, Bri. Ayaw namin masaktan ka dahil sa lalaking yun. Pero, hindi naman siya ganun. Don't tell me you're going to choose that guy over us. Rihanna said, prompting me to freeze for a moment. Did I really have to choose? I rubbed my palms together, producing heat between them to prevent my hands from freezing. My heart was thumping hard that entire time. And I felt it aching somehow, knowing what would happen between me and Lucas at the end of this day. For reality sucks, isn't it? At every point in our life, there was always someone who had to leave. There was always someone who had to go. And it was sad, because I was going to be that someone. We just dated yesterday. Namis mo naman ako agad. He said, after he sat down across the table, chuckling slightly, I puckered my lips. Kapal. He laughed. <laughs> Joke lang. He rested his chin on his hand, looking at me adorably. So, saan mo gusto mamasyal? I shook my head. Mm, hindi ako nakipagkita para di yan. His eyebrows met in confusion. Ha? Huh? Eh, di para saan? I bit my lower lip. He seemed really clueless and I felt bad for planning something that could have hurt him. I sighed deeply. Let's end this. Uh, ano? Can't you hear me? I asked. Sabi ko, tigilan na natin to. Ayoko na. Bree, you're joking, right? Bawin mo yan. Seryoso ako, Lucas. Baby naman. Pag-usapan natin to. He tried to beg in front of me. He tried to stop me from leaving. But I had already made off my mind. Kahit labag ang lahat ng ito sa kalooban ko, gagawin ko pa rin. Kasi, ito ang sa tingin ko ay ang tamang gagawin. Hindi naman kasi sa lahat ng oras ay puso lagi ang ginagamit. It will always be mind over everything. But I would be lying if I said it didn't hurt me. The entire time we were talking, I was trying not to make my voice crack. I was trying my best not to cry in front of him. It was so hard to act like I never cared for him. In fact, deep inside, I wanted to take back all the painful things I had said to him, say sorry, and just hug him tight. But I knew better. 
my friends knew better. Please, wag na mong ganito. I'm sorry, baby. I have to lose you so I wouldn't lose my friends. Did I really make the right decision? Tama ba na iniwan ko siya? If what I did was really right, then why am I hurting? Why am I not happy? Rihanna, I wish I couldn't do this anymore. I confronted them. Tears falling from the edge of my eyes. Gusto ko nang makipag-ayos sa kanya. Ayaw ko nang ganito kami. Why can't you just give us a chance? It had been a week since I finally caught all the strings between me and Lucas. But until now, I was still in pain. I left my man because my friends said so. And I hated myself for doing that. I felt like I was always obliged to please them all. Pakaramdam ko dapat kong sundin ang mga gusto nila. Kasi kung hindi, madidisappoint ko na naman sila ulit. We don't want Lucas for you because it's for your own good, Brianna. Ang gusto lang namin, eh huwag kang masaktan sa kanya. Hindi ba ako nasasaktan ngayon sa gusto niyong mangyari? I cried, as if all my bottled up emotions since last week had already reached their peak. That made them silent. I wiped my tears away. Hindi ba ako nasasaktan ngayon pinapipili ninyo ako? Fuck it, Rihanna. Mahal ko yung tao eh. Suportan niyo lang ang kailangan ko. Bakit parang hirap na magibigay niyo sa akin yun? Look, Irish said. She placed her two hands on my shoulders and looked at me straight in the eyes. Hindi siya makakabuti sa'yo. I shook my head, taking one step away from them. I thought they would understand me, but I was wrong. Mabait si Lucas! You don't know how kind he is, Irish. Hindi niyo maintindihan yun kasi hindi naman kayo nakakausap niya lagi. At hindi naman kayo nagmamahal sa kanya. Brianna, you don't understand us either. Frustration was evident on Rihanna's voice. Then enlighten me. She sighed. Huh. We already knew Lucas before you two even met. And if we allow you to date that guy, everything that happened in the past will happen again. Iyon ang iniiwasan naming mangyari ni Irish. What do you mean? Angelica was Lucas' ex-girlfriend, Brie. Angelica was our friend back then, before you even came along. Sorry if I doubted you. Sorry if I doubted us. That was the first thing I told him when I asked him to come and meet up with me at the park. It was already late in the afternoon and there were only a few of us at the place. Two weeks of not seeing him made me miss him so much. Damn. Paano ko ba siya natiis? Shh. It's okay. He hashed as he caught my face with his hands and kissed me on the forehead. I understand what you did, but that doesn't mean it didn't hurt me. He sighed, brushing his palm through his hair. A glint of pain glistened in the depths of his eyes before he looked away. Pinaghirapan kong kunin ang loob at tiwala mo, Brianna. Tapos mga wala lang na parang bulat dahil lang sa mga kaibigan mo. He looked damn hurt. That's unfair. I bit my lower lip. My heart felt heavy as my conscience slowly consumed me whole. I'm sorry. Okay lang. Ang mahalaga. Ayos na tayo, di ba? Hope was evident in his eyes. He hugged me before I could answer. I love you, Brianna. My chest throbbed. I love you too, Lucas. I hugged him even tighter as a tear escaped from my eye. B but My voice cracked. But I don't want to lose my friends along the way of loving you. I pulled away. My heart crashed into pieces as I witnessed how his facial expression changed into pain. I bit my lower lip. So, you would rather lose me? He asked, hurt. I sniffed and looked down on my feet, avoiding his gaze. Before I could even answer again, a loud siren dominated the atmosphere and the entire park. Minutes later, a car beaming with red and blue lights appeared on the road.
He looked at me, puzzled. I yes, I would rather lose you. I muttered as I watched Luca slowly being handcuffed by the police. My heart throbbed. Baby, what is this? I copped his face and planted him a kiss. Sorry, Lucas. I love you, but I can't be in a relationship with a criminal. I know you changed, but this is the consequence of raping Angelica. His facial expression changed into guilt. Sorry, Bri. Sorry kung itinago ko. A tear rolled down my cheek. I'm sorry too, Lucas. I can no longer defend you. They were right after all. But even though he committed such an immoral act, even though he was already an immoral being in the eyes of everyone, still, my feelings for him never changed.